hey so divine so here you welcome to the channel if this is your first time stopping by please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel so i have a message here for my divine feminines okay let me say this first of all if you are currently single let's say you just ended a relationship with somebody and you're still in your grieving process give yourself time okay allow yourself heal allow yourself go within yourself to to heal that part of yourself okay do not just don't be so quick to jump into the next relationship don't be so quick to move to the next person allow yourself okay and also let me point this out do not let society people make you feel like you are too old to be in love do not let anybody make you feel like oh you're behind time like no man will find you worthy don't let other people's perception okay keep you stuck all right you are you are deserving of love you, you're meant to receive love i don't care how old you are 65 years old i don't care you are meant you're you're, you're meant to receive love okay and for me as long as you are in alignment with god you're trusting god you're believing in god you're doing the things that you need to do okay you're a woman waiting on god as long as you are on that path i'm telling you no matter how long it takes your person will certainly find you and when this person finds you there will be no age limits there will be no time limit there will be nothing okay um holding your connection from coming in so i need you to keep trusting in god okay and also while you're waiting and trusting in god keep working on yourself keep healing yourself keep fixing yourself okay don't just sit there doing nothing work on yourself if there are habits characters that you know within yourself that you need to detach from allow yourself detach from that and do not settle for things that does not speak of your energy or don't don't settle for people that are not in alignment with where you you're headed to or to where god is taking you to if you desire a man that is not i don't like the word god fearing to be honest because when people misquote it when you say god fearing people just think oh it's all about church and there are many people in the church that are really really unhappy in their marriages so it's not even about being god fearing because somebody can go to church and you think they're god fearing that's not what it is but if you desire a partner i need you to start seeking for a partner that has a deep connection with god that goes beyond anything when a man has a very good connection with God, they will know how to treat you right, okay? And you cannot be out here settling for things that, you know, it's not even meant to be part of you. You are not meant to settle with people that don't know how to respect you, okay? So, um, that's what I just need to say. But moving on, this message is specifically for those of you that has already done the work, okay? You've healed from your karmic, you've moved forward you're not attached to anybody from the past you are ready to meet your person you're ready to meet your kingdom spouse your, your divine counterpart your twin flame your soulmate whatever you call it but you are in the space where you've been waiting on god to give to your person you maybe you're said you've been celibate okay and for those of you that just came out of a relationship i will tell you this don't be so quick to jump on every day canary okay don't be so quick to jump to meet just anybody keep yourself okay if you truly want something genuine you want someone to love you to treat you right i need you to also treat your body right treat your body right okay a man respects you when you respect yourself so don't be out here giving your body away to just anybody protect your your energy protect your sacredness protect yourself okay this is not the time to go on rebound this is not the time to you know see how you can just jump into the next one because you you don't like being single you have to sit with yourself allow yourself heal so that the next person you meet will not be um, dealing with your baggages because you've you've refused to do the work when you don't heal from your past relationship and you move to the next one the next person suffers the consequences and then you keep repeating the cycle over and over again but when you allow yourself heal when you meet the next person, trust me, you're meeting the healed version. You're meeting um, a reflection of who you are. But when you've not healed, you keep attracting the reflection of who you are. You, you keep attracting the unhealed version of yourself. And that's why you keep attracting broken men, unavailable men, emotionally unavailable men. But when you treat yourself with respect, you love yourself, you know your worth, you set boundaries. I'm telling you, anybody coming towards you will have to come right they will have to think twice before they come towards you when you are in your queen energy where you don't give time your time your energy your body to just anybody trust me the man that god will present to you will, will, will 
kiss the, the ground that you walk on because you know yourself, you value yourself. And a valued man that knows their value and they know your value will come in. But when you keep giving your body, yourself to these F-boys that don't even know what they want for themselves, nothing changes in your reality. If you want better, you have to do better. Okay, so I'll leave that there. So moving on, for those of you that you are ready to be in this connection with your kingdom spouse, you know you're ready, you've healed, you're not attached to anything of the past. Your king right now is requesting to see you. Your king is requesting to see you. And I heard the name Naomi. So I don't know if your name is Naomi or your mother's name is Naomi, but Naomi came through. And afterwards, I was being led to the book of Ruth. And this, it, then I realized that the mother figure in the life of Ruth was, her name was Naomi. So which really, you know, makes sense to me or made sense to me. So right now, you could have a mother figure in your life. This could be your mother, your biological mother. This could be your stepmom um, or this could be your your pastor's wife or, you know, someone that you look up to like a mom figure okay maybe someone that is married that they know the um in and out of marriage okay maybe you watch somebody online maybe the person's name could be naomi and you watch her online maybe she talks about marriage and how to prepare yourself for your husband something like that but if that's what it is here um right now your person, your king is ready to meet with you. This is someone that has been working on themselves, okay? They've been doing the work. They've been working on themselves spiritually, mentally, emotionally, intellectually, financially, okay? I heard made man, man of virtue. That's what I heard. This person is also a spiritual leader, okay? This could be a pastor, a minister, an evangelist, a worker in the church, or a mentor, or maybe just someone that is generally, it, it could be anything, right? But this person is um, spiritually connected to God. This man has a connection with God, okay? And I'm hearing David. David. And you know, David was the man after God's heart. So this person, this man coming towards you, is maybe his name could be David. But this man coming, to, coming towards you, right? This person um has a very good connection like they are like god's best friend they have a very good connection with god they speak to god on a daily basis all right they talk to god all the time and um in the past right this person this man was not ready to be in a connection with anybody but now now i don't know if it was a dream that they had I don't know if the picture of you that they saw, but there's something here, or maybe the confirmation, maybe God told them something, but something here is just, it seems so right to this person right now, okay? And I heard this is a love made in heaven. This is someone that I feel like they know who you are. I feel like they know who you are, or maybe you know who this person is already, okay? But this is a spiritual connection. This is not... A worldly kind of connection where you just want this person just wants to exchange their body with you or all of that no this is a very very deep connection like this person this king coming towards you is not interested in women that are still on the street and when I mean on the street like they still have their eyes outside this king coming towards you is not looking for women that have the perfect body the perfect face nope this king coming towards you is looking for a queen that can support them. A queen that can be their ride or die. A queen that can help them build the kingdom. A queen, a queen that can make a house a home. A queen that can raise his children in God's ways. That's what I'm getting from this message. And if that's what you desire as well, then get ready, my queens. This king is making his way to you. I also heard Alexandra McQueen. I don't know if maybe that's something that you like. This divine masculine coming towards you 
this is a highly recommended man okay this person could be a celebrity or maybe they're well known in their community but this is someone that people respect people love they have like um I, i'm hearing admirers okay male female people just look up to them it, and it's, i'm getting that king kingship okay um and for the fact that i saw the king of wands on my third eye it's just so clear that that's what it is okay this is your king of wands you are the queen of wands as well and you both are in your energy you're in your power already so um you know that saying that goes love happens to you when you least expect <laughs> that is the storyline of this person this person was not expecting to be in love or to be committed to anybody but let me tell you this divine timing has its role to play it doesn't matter if you're ready if you're not when is divine timing when is the time that god the universe they've already said that so 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 time this person and that person will come together there is nothing you or that person can do about it so that's what i'm seeing here i'm seeing this as a form of someone that was not i feel like they were comfortable in their world okay they were so comfortable being single, enjoying their time, lifeing, doing things on their own. And whatsoever that God showed to them, God revealed to them, whatever it is that they saw, this person is now ready to be committed. They are now ready to, to be in a relationship, to get married. They are now ready. I'm hearing the song, I found love for me. I don't know the, song, the lyrics anyways, but that's what I'm hearing right now. Um, That could be your favorite song. So I don't know what you did to this man, but they've turned their boat around. They were on their boat moving to happy being single. But like they saw you, they came across you, God showed them something about you. They saw you in the dream. I don't know how they saw you or something like that. But this person now has turned their boat like okay you know what i'm done being single i'm tired of being single this is the one this person currently they are single okay you could be single as well of course you are single and they don't want to be single anymore okay you've captured the heart of a divine masculine i'm telling you this is this person this divine masculine this is a father figure this is someone that you can trust that they will hold it down when you're not around they will take care of the kids they will support your kids they will love your kids this is not someone that will butcher out or run out when it's time to 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 be responsible no this is a responsible man this is a father figure this person is ready to start a journey with you this is someone that has been on the solo journey like i said and before now they were not searching until you came along so someone could have seen you in their dream or a picture of you but ever since this king set their eyes on you they are marveled by you okay this person thinks about you all night this person this person thinks looks at your photo if they have any it's like you are in their head they are making future plans for you and them you know it's like everything about them okay it's now you okay before it was just them maybe their work and god but now it's you you could be out just saying, oh God, when is this person going to come? Are you sure this person is going to come? I'm losing hope and all of that. But what you don't see behind the scene is that this divine masculine is watching you secretly, okay? They are stalking you, not in a negative way, okay? They are just keeping tabs on you, trying to get more infos about you before they can approach you. But this person is making plans behind the scene, okay? Um... There's something about I don't there's a it, there has to be a picture that this person saw because you can't tell me nothing. I don't know how this person got to see you. Number 17 is also here as well. Number seven could be significant. Um, but since this person set their eyes on you, they've not been the same. Like you've got this man hypnotized in a good way though. You know, it's like you are all they think of. This king, this divine masculine. He is tired of hiding behind the scene because he has been doing that for a long time. He is tired right now and is ready to make himself known to you. And I heard in the wildest way. So you guys, I don't know if you're ready, but <laughs> buckle up. 
buckle up okay and also i heard the divine has been tailing this man okay tailing which means everywhere they go anything they do whoever they talk to is like the divine keeps showing them a picture of you in their head remember this person remember this person maybe they let's say for instance they want to start another relationship or connection with someone else the divine keeps telling them remember this person your name comes up or your face comes up or there's something about you that just comes up to your head ah my goodness i can feel this energy god revealed something to this man this is someone that has been praying to see signs this is someone that's been praying to god to reveal to them their person and now god has shown them who you are they've asked for countless signs to be sure that you are the one and i feel like there is one sign that they received in regards to you that completed that puzzle that's what i'm getting here this connection is in divine alignment which means that you both you're exactly where you're meant to be before now one person was ready maybe you could be the one that is ready and this person was not ready but now and that was why this connection did not happen that was why this connection took so much time because one of the other person was not ready and this other person was ready so there was no alignment but right now you both are in divine alignment they are ready you are ready that is the divine timing okay this is how it was meant to play out okay 333 three, three. if you've been coming across that number that is your sign this is someone that wants to spend forever with you they see you different from other girls that they've encountered in the past and now they are like this is the one this feels like someone that has been meeting with different girls okay but they've been low-key trying to see if anyone you know strikes them and boom you happen to be the one okay that really unlocked their heart their hearts it's been closed off okay they're like when i see the person i will know when i meet the person i will know and then they met you they saw you and it's like you just unlocked their their heart so this is a soul to soul connection here and i see that you both you both have something in common okay you have a very good connection with god which is very good and something else that i was been told is that you both could have lost somebody from your family okay that could be for that could be specific so i will link the channel songs on the description um, box below so that you can listen to them okay whatever it is that this person is feeling this man this man has never felt this way before with anyone i'm telling you they've never felt you're so different there's something different about you so you're being asked to be positive even though you don't see it happening okay i also heard that you and this person you've graduated okay spiritually so that means you both you've broken generational curses i'm seeing here but you you both you've healed yourself you've healed your inner child trauma you've completed a cycle so yeah it, that's what it is you graduated spiritually here yeah, this person you and this person this person made it out to the this person is now in the new earth yeah they see you as the queen of their heart they see you as a treasure that they must protect if you're not currently in communication with this person this man is about to come through a communication is coming through okay this person wants to make their intentions known to you and let me tell you this there is no force in the pit of hell that can stop this union from coming together okay you both are protected okay i'm also saying something about traveling maybe you love traveling this person loves traveling as well um but i'm just getting like new energy new love you know fun moment okay your days of being single is over i'm telling you so I will leave this message here and I hope that this message gives you peace and clarity. Till next time, divine blessings.